All right, we're back, James. Welcome again. Um, can you tell us what your definition or perspective is by completing this sentence? Leadership is... That's pretty open-ended. It is. If, you know, uh, let, let me answer it in the kind of the one word and then expand. I, I believe leadership is the ability to inspire your team. Um, it's really, can you... Uh, create and communicate a compelling future for your company that they want to be part of. And I always say to any of my team members, you need to be, if their name's John, I say, you're the, you're the president of John Inc. You need to take care of John Inc. My job is to make sure there's an opportunity within the Castle Group for John Inc.'s goals to be met. And so I, I really think it's, it's the ability to inspire them to be better. Um, and in addition to that, your ability to influence, uh, I think, is, is super important. But it all has to come from a humble place. People love to work with and for humble people. I, I think you made two great points there. Number one, you used the word team, which, which I love because I compare a lot of things to sports, and I think it's the same in, in business. And humble, I, I kind of equate a little bit to also to authenticity. Yeah, you know... Um, I think it's Jim Collins, who I'm a huge fan of, and that'll probably come up again in our interview because I based a lot of our business philosophy on that. He he talked about level five um, leadership, and he he said there was a, a level five leader is the um, paradoxical combination of, of, of a humble man with uh, unrelenting will. And I thought, yep, that's exactly what it takes. So it's 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 a great term. It reminds me of a. Um a client I have in Montreal, as a matter of fact, uh, we're doing a search for a managing director of family office, and he said he wants unimpeachable integrity. Well, it's funny, Mark, I uh, am a very organized guy, very goal-oriented. I have, uh, you know, very well-written-out goals, and we and my wife go through a process every year together to make sure we're on track. Um, but in, in addition, we list our values and we rank our values. So what's most important for my case, number, my number one is health. But you, if you looked at my top 10 values, you would not see integrity, and that may surprise you. And the, the reason is we, we what we call Hall of Fame values. Once we believe that there's just, it doesn't even need to be on a piece of paper anymore, it's just part of who we are, then we kind of move it off and focus on, on the next highest. So as an example, integrity, you won't see because we've Hall of Famed it, but health just seems to be something you you got to keep front and center all the time. It's hard to Hall of Fame because there's so many. No, I, I, I'm with you. And we, we do a lot of work in wellness for our clients. So I, uh, if you don't have that, as parents used to say, then you really don't have anything. So thank you. That's great stuff. Appreciate it.